People rushed to the hospital in critical condition after they were shot at a home near South Mountain. That shooting happening in a neighborhood near 24th Street and Broadway. That's where Danielle Miller is tonight with some details. Danielle? Christy and John, uh, Phoenix Fire confirming to us that three adult males uh, were shot here in this neighborhood. They were all rushed to the hospital listed in critical condition. They tell us. males shot is definitely out of the ordinary, especially for this neighborhood here. Now we're still working to hear uh, from police to see exactly what happened down here, exactly what led up to this shooting. Also maybe to get some identities of these people who were shot. And when we get any updated information, we'll bring that to you as it becomes available. Guys, back to you. Okay. Thank you, Danielle. A water main break causes a big problem on a Phoenix street tonight. The break creating a huge sinkhole right in the road and a city bus got stuck right in it. Looked like it was just sinking in that. The water continued to flow throughout the course of the evening. Nearby areas quickly became flooded with plenty of water. Take a look here at that chaos that ensued. The road flooded, the water got higher and higher, and it actually got so high it flooded a nearby car dealership. Luckily, we're told that just one person was inside the bus, that was the driver, and the driver was able to get out safely. Tonight, that intersection of Van Buren and 35th Avenue is still closed. They've got to repair it. The water is still flowing. And Marcy Jones, she donned the boots earlier tonight to go out. Going on now about six, seven hours out there. Yes, John, can you believe it? We are on uh, hour six right now, and the best I can describe it is think of those jets in a jacuzzi or a hot tub. That is kind of the bubbling action that's coming out of that, what we were told, a six to seven foot sinkhole right over there. You can see that uh, tractor has its claw in there right now, but the water from the sidewalk has receded a little bit, but as you see, it's still bubbling out. They've got a lot more cleanup to do. I'm kind of surprised they haven't been able to shut off the water. They must have into another challenge. We were told that two pipes merged around that area and that's why it was taking them so long. Earlier we talked to some people that saw exactly what happened and they said it caused quite a scene. Dozens of people gathered at 35th Avenue in Van Buren to watch a rare scene, a city bus getting pulled out of a sinkhole. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense how so much water can just mess up a street and, and you know, send a store a street like that. According to the Phoenix Public Transit Department, thankfully there were no passengers on board. But the scene of gushing water and the stuck bus still caused quite the commotion. Janae says she was outside right as the incident happened. As the city bus came, um, the asphalt you could tell was having some type of issues. But I believe the weight of the bus is yeah. what triggered the um, pipe busting or something like that. Janae adds that the bus driver took his time getting off and that Phoenix Fire and police were on scene shortly after. Even though no one was hurt, eyewitness Dwayne tells me he still feels for those whose commute was disrupted. And people got jobs and everything too, so I'm pretty sure upset about this happening too. People have making, places to go. People got places to go and everything, so it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. People got places to go, and luckily nobody was hurt. Uh, take, it's going to take a little bit of time to clean all of this up. We've still got a lot of uh, City of Phoenix water crews out here, and we have some of those eyewitnesses out here. They wanted to say hi again. Give another shout out. There we go. All right. Well, thanks, guys. We will check back in with you in just about an hour, but uh, it seems like this is going to go on for several more hours, John and Christy. I've got to believe that the Phillips Law people, the phone is ringing off the hook tonight. The bus, uh, it was just free advertising all afternoon long. Absolutely. Absolutely. They were the winners. Okay. Stay dry out there. <laughs> Thank you, you can, Marcy. Marcy. Well, speaking of staying dry, you didn't do it in some places today. There was another round of monsoon wow. weather. Look at Take that. a look at the flooding there. Gosh, looks like a river. In fact, it's just water as a result of that storm. Prescott getting some pretty heavy rain. This video was sent to us from a Fox 10 viewer in Dewey Humboldt. A wash turned into a raging river. And in Prescott, hail was coming down very hard. Almost looks like snow there. This was... This was pretty, uh, pretty crazy weather that was happening in that area today, and we thank you for your pictures, Gail. Thank you. And that looks like a wall of dust, but the only wall of dust we saw today was the one right here in the valley. This is incredible. We were talking about this in our earlier shows. No rain for us, but that big wall of dust moving through, and of course, we'll have a look at your state forecast and talk more about the chance for more dust a little bit later in the show. A man in handcuffs sitting in the back of a DPS patrol car makes a break for it after the trooper rolled down the window 
though, to let some air into the vehicle, trying to do a nice... for its patient assistance. the public outcry over the rising cost of EpiPens, the manufacturer of the device that injects life-saving medicine into someone having an allergic reaction is now trying to save face. The pharmaceutical company Mylan NV says it will cover up to $300 of out-of-pocket costs for patients. The company also says it will double eligibility for its patient assistance program, which will get rid of out-of-pocket costs for the uninsured and underinsured. Mylan has raised Some people have made this a craft room, a uh, office. lean what you want from what the guy had to say so I <laughs> I don't know this might not be the wisest move for him as far as his base is concerned but I don't think he's concerned about his base he's concerned about everybody else because right. his base isn't going to win him the election right well which by the way not being concerned about your base and trying to win over new voters is something kinda, you're supposed to do I mean, in a general it kind of happens right? in the general yeah. and look I mean Megan already nodded to this like people change their perspective